I was kind of turning into a party boy at night. That results in me getting fired and that, that was enough to crumble me. And so I needed to learn a hard lesson and grow up. It's a lesson McDaniel won't forget. He keeps an index card in his office to guarantee it. 865, the number of days of his NFL exile before getting a second chance. I ordered you pizza. You were having a hard day. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. This is a good one. So I had a hard day because I thought I was going to get an interview with the Tennessee Titans. That felt through. Um, I was really excited about it. She ordered me a pizza because I went on a walk. And then Kyle Shanahan called me and offered me the job with the, with the Redskins. So then, she, yeah, she bought it. That was a good, good memory. Um, Pepperoni, extra yeah. cheese. Yeah, staple. We moved from California to D.C., then we moved to Cleveland, then we moved to Atlanta, and um, after year one, people on the coaching staff identified that I was drinking too often, um, and I'd admittedly say I agree. Alcohol nearly took away his NFL career for keeps. On January 4th, 2016, Dan Quinn and Kyle Shanahan and um, Raheem Morris all sit me down independently, and I have to come tell my wife. And telling her I really undercut all of her investment into me and was leaving our family vulnerable. And I remember looking at her and that feeling immediately, I was like, I hate everything about this. I could tell he was crushed, and I, I, I just, um, everything he'd worked for, I thought it was gone. I didn't know what the future was gonna be like, but I knew that Mike would do the right thing and be better from it. Her unconditional love for me in that moment and her heartbreak and her uncertainty and her fear, it was that moment that I said, I will never drink again.